ooh, Wayfair. Wayfair said I only got to pay, what, $50 a month for this couch for 36 months? I can do that because I make this much money. What's up you guys, it's Kiera, and today I wanted to sit down and talk to you all about lifestyle creep, how it's affected me, and how I'm kind of maneuvering out of it. So this video came after I was reviewing my 2022 overall finances. Um, it was my first full year with a quote unquote big girl job, and I made a pretty good amount of money, but there were still some decisions that I made that could have been made a little bit more wiser, or just not made at all, to be honest. But I made them, I recovered from them, and I'm here. Those decisions didn't put me in a terrible situation, it just was not an ideal situation. I come to realize that the term is called lifestyle creep. You know, we're always given something a name. And I really wanted to do this because I know my audience right now are younger adults who may be transitioning from college to their first big career move or their big opportunity out of college. You know, they're getting, you getting a hold of some money you getting a hold of some green and it's burnt you know you got plans you got that offer letter you like man i'm gonna move to this real nice apartment i'm gonna get this real nice furniture i'm gonna get you know i can i can finance a couch i can finance xyz i ooh, wayfair wayfair said i only gotta pay what 50 dollars a month for this couch for 36 months i can do that because i make this much money it's that mindset that gives you lifestyle creep that's a mindset i had last year no longer have it. Um, I was working heavily on getting out of it around like October-ish. But hmm, it's it's a scary place because you you are in a situation and you know you're living the way you live. You might be living pretty frugal until you get that opportunity. And then you see your boost of income as a green light to kind of go crazy. This can be heavily influenced by consumerism and you know, following people on Instagram and wanting to look like what they look like. You might see them as wealth or see them as, see them as like a luxury figure. And you're like, I wanna be like that. So I'm gonna go buy all these nice clothes and I'm gonna go buy all these nice shoes and I'm gonna go hang out and you know, go out to eat, go brunch every weekend. This is after you've gotten your job. And that lifestyle begins to creep up with you. And at some point you look and you're like, man, I know I was making more money. I know I was making more money, but like, I, I'm not feeling like I'm making more money. So some of the lifestyle creep decisions that I made, this is me personal experience, um, are like, buying clothes for certain events, buying clothes for every quote unquote special event, knowing you have clothes in your closet. I was so bad about that. I would be like, oh, we have a wedding coming up. Like we're gonna be a guest at a wedding. I need to go buy a dress. And I would go buy a dress. When I have three dresses in my closet that fit and look fine. I was, when we decided to go back in the office, I would go and eat lunch i would go out to eat lunch every day and that i don't know if y'all have seen the price of eggs but it reflects everywhere uh it is really expensive to eat out for lunch every day and then i come home and i'm like oh, i'm gonna order some doordash you know ordering doordash was another one i was always like oh, i'm gonna just order some food real quick and man that stuff starts to creep up on you i started getting my checks and i would be like okay i'm feeling like i was living i mean i'm feeling like i was feeling when i didn't have a job i'm needing to think about the next level of money because of the situation i put myself in and that's not a really comfortable situation for me it's not ideal it's not something i like and so i had to get a hold of understanding that just because i'm making more money just because I got a raise, just because I picked up a side gig, does not equate to luxury items or, you know, non-essential things being a necessity. It does not turn them into a necessity. They are still a want, they are not a need. And that's, that's where I think it disconnects for a lot of people. You're like, oh, I need those new shoes. I need those new so-and-sos. And it's like, but do you really? Do you? It hurts. It hurts, it does. You might feel like, she don't know what she's talking about. Like, I, I, need to, I need to look fly all the time. You can look fly in clothes that you already own because you have style. 
you don't need to go and order do a Shein haul I'm talking to my, my past self you don't need to go and order $500 worth of clothes that you probably won't even wear that often I'll leave a link in the description to the official uh, financial definition of lifestyle creep it's very technical there is something that I gotta say so I've told you the problem so what's the solution well I have a few tips that I have been using that have helped me tremendously when it comes to managing lifestyle creep and trying to stay as far away from it as possible make a budget you need a budget if you are someone you got you need a little plan for your life you need a little structure you need a budget it doesn't have to be a super tight budget it doesn't have to be oh I can't spend anything you just need to know where your money is going do not let your money just go and you don't know where it's at don't look and be like dang I could just wear I had two hundred dollars in here but looks like I spent it on DoorDash and a Klarna or Afterpay purchase like I didn't know any of that was coming you need to know where it's going so a budget can be anything from a spreadsheet. If you're like my husband, you have a spreadsheet, you have an Excel sheet with all your expenses. Um, or if you're like me, you might use an app such as Monarch or a platform like you need a budget, it's a platform. And so it can be hard to make the budget because you have to be real with yourself about how much money you do spend and it is uncomfortable to make the mindful decision that, you know, I'm not gonna eat out every day at work. I'm gonna take my lunch or I'm gonna eat at work where lunch is only $3 or $5 instead of $20. So once you make the budget, stick to the budget that's <laughs> again talking to me you can have a budget but if you don't stick to it it's, you might as well burn the budget up and just throw it away you need to stick to the budget it can be really easy to be like you know i'm gonna spend a check and get it right back i can spend this i'm a mm -mm. no because if you like me when i used to buy something and it was not a reasonable purchase and i didn't plan it out i would feel so so bad after the purchase that like I didn't even enjoy it when it arrived and then it arrived and I'm like dang I forgot I even ordered this like I ordered that two weeks ago that's crazy I don't even want it anymore so in order to combat that I created a buy list for myself um, actually like a table again a spreadsheet so I use notion to create a want now buy later board where anytime I see something I like I'll put it I'll put it on the board I'll put you know why I want that item the cost all that good stuff and then I'll give it a week or two and then I'll go check the list and most of the time the item that I said I wanted I no longer I'm like why did I even why did I want that so instead of impulse buying I'm able to analyze and uh, really figure out if what I want I really want or do I just want it because it looked interesting at the time it can be lifestyle lifestyle creep is the the term is so relatable because it can really be something as small as you getting a drink every morning like at Starbucks or tropical smoothie or something again talking to myself and this is not like the Dave Ramsey oh you can't afford a house because you buy coffee every day no but Me, I, I used to get a drink every morning and I would get some food every morning. I'm like, damn, I spent $10 this morning and $20 at lunch, that's $30 a day. And you're doing that every day and you don't realize it cause you're just living life. But as you look at your bills and you look at your paycheck, you're like, dang, I'm making this much, but it don't feel like it. Where is that going? And last but not least is staying off of social media as much watching what you consume a lot of times the wants that we have come from seeing other people have it you might be scrolling on instagram you see somebody looking fly and you're like oh that outfit i need it so you go instantly search for that outfit you or something like it you know that style and you get it or maybe you see oh my favorite brand just dropped a new you know clothing line or something like I need to go get that ASAP you have not created a plan for this you're just going and buying on a whim and some people not saying all but some people 
do subconsciously want to keep up with the people that they follow on social media so because you see this person with you know that that nice bag and the nicest shoes and the nicest jewelry you feel like i need to have that in order to have this lifestyle that i want and that can really affect you negatively so just watching what you consume it's okay to like aspire and be like you know i want to level up my my life like that one day i'm because chances are they life not even leveled up the way you think it is it's, it's it's an illusion it's a it's a magic trick take it with a grain of salt and i say that because when i was doing when i was coming out of my lifestyle creep phase one of the things i did actually was delete the apps off my phone. Um, I deleted my Twitter profile, I deleted my Instagram app, and I found that I was not buying anything. I didn't want any new bags, I didn't want any new shoes, because I was like, I have shoes, who cares? <laughs> you know, like, oh, I, I got new shoes, I need to take a picture of them to share and tell people I bought shoes, but if I'm not on socials, I'm, I'm not really caring to tell anybody, you know? Hopefully some of those things resonated with you, your real life situations. Um, lifestyle creep can come up in so many different ways. I'm sure you may have thought of a way that lifestyle creep has affected you. So hopefully you can get a hold of that and take more control of your money because that's very important, especially in the state of the economy today. So you guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if you like this video or, you know, let me know what type of lifestyle creep life you live. Let's let's share our dirty secrets in the comments. Don't be afraid. This is a no judgment zone, but we are actively working to get out of that lifestyle. <laughs> we don't want the light. We don't want anything creeping. We want to see everything in front of us. You know, objects in the mirror. We don't want to see no creep back there. We want to see. We want to see. The, we want to see the past. We looking at the future of success. Okay. I don't know what that was, but thank you so much for watching. I'm Kiara, and I'll see you later.